Well, I assume that we're all here. Um, good morning, Ginger and Robert and Albert and Shannon. We're excited to see everybody gather. I'm not sure what anyone else is going to be with us this morning, so we'll start. Um, I have no announcements that are not the typical ones you've heard every week for a long time. Prayer meeting, we're actually open to anybody who wants to come, because it's not just the men anymore. We had a good prayer this morning, um, praying for the church um, at nine, a, little, a little after 9.30. And then um, our service will start next week at 10.30. There is a um, local council, I think, next week. I have to double check and see if, Brian, do you know if they are definitely um, having that on the Sunday coming? Um, the fourth? Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I can't confirm that, but I'm certainly planning on it next week. So, I know I'm supposed to begin meetings with a few of their members, Spanish speaking members, to go over our uh, constitution and bylaws. So please pray for me. I've been preparing a list of changes which have to do with where their Spanish documents from CAM International does, do, do not agree with ours, where we can discuss uh, ways of reconciling those differences and bringing us together so we actually operating under one um, set of documents. Spanish service will uh, again be at 5 and the youth group is at 6 p.m. Brian, what's the, the program this week for youth, pro, youth group? Um, we are going through Old Testament books of the Bible, um, and uh, then we split into two groups. One's going to be giving their presenting, and we actually come in the sanctuary, and they go, get up on the podium and present uh, their, their books, a little. and uh, then the other half is uh, practicing singing. And so this this uh, this band of congregation, and they've done this with me, and it's kind of worked that they they encourage everybody to sing, even if your voice isn't so good, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> we we all could identify there. So, um, but they are they're gracious, generous people. They they encourage uh, joyful singing. So that's good good to do. And we have our own this morning to, to share together. So, Brian, we're going to have you come forward and lead us in prayer. We do have some updates on while well, you're coming. Just get us started. We have updates on Debbie Charles, who was in Arizona with uh, her father. I think she's coming back this week. Um, but they haven't got the test yet from, for his testing. So uh, we can continue to pray um, that would resolve, and they'd be able to be back with us on a regular basis. Let's bow our hearts in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we have to gather together as in your body, Lord, and how sweet it is to trust in you. It's a rock in our salvation, how all these things are happening in the world, and I won't get them all right, but... Lord, you know you know what they are, and you have the outcome. Lord, when in uh, in Tasha's case, you know we see just the fruit of her life, and Lord, just uh, thank you and and praise you that uh, Adam and or uh, Matt and Janice um, were were praying to you, Lord, for her. And sometimes it takes us to get to the bottom of our rope and have something. A little scary happened before we decide that we really need you, Lord, and we just pray that that would they would really you would bring them uh, closer to you. And uh, that's Adam's parents. And Lord, we uh, uh, pray for the people that we know that have um, have COVID, um, Gina and Chet's family. And, and John, and this pastor um, that married uh, Ginger and Billy, Lord, and, and, and uh, 
Dr. Dornick. And Lord, it uh, seems like that list is getting getting longer, not shorter. Lord, and just help us to be be wise about um, you know what to do to to prevent the spread of the of the disease, Lord. And Lord, we just pray for each one of those that has it that uh, they would uh, you know our bodies are wonderfully made. And Lord, we just pray that we be able to kick this. Um, Kick this disease, Lord, and and all the while, Lord, we just pray that you are you you are lifted up in all of this. And Lord, we just pray for um, for Debbie that you'd uh, have um, you'd give her direction for whether she's to stay with her dad or, or come back as she's getting these tests. And, Lord, as he's seemed to have uh, stabilized a little bit. And Lord, we just pray for, for that situation also. Lord, we just thank you for, for um, bringing us together here this morning, Lord. And we just pray that um, in above, above all else, that we would put our trust in you and not in medical science or or um, anything anything else is going to toss us around like waves in the ocean lord you are the only one that can you know tie us to you know the rock of your salvation and make us immune from what it's it's the it's the ultimate vaccine um, against anything that can happen in this world lord and we just pray and thank you that for our for that gift that you've given us lord we lift up the rest of the service as we're continuing to work through the book of uh, first samuel lord and uh, singing and praying that we do together, Lord. We just thank you for all this time. You seem to lift up in Jesus' name. Amen. Our call to worship comes from Isaiah chapter 26. Verses 1 to 9. In that day this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. He sets up salvation as walls and bulwarks open the gates that the righteous nation that keeps faith may enter in. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting rock He has humbled the inhabitants of the height, the lofty city. He lays it low, lays it low to the ground, casts it to the dust. The foot tramples it, the feet of the poor, the steps of the needy. The path of the righteous is is level. You make level the way of the righteous in the path of your judgments. O Lord, we wait for you. Your name and remembrance are all the desire of our soul. May our soul yearn for you in the night. May my spirit within me earnestly seeks you, for when your judgments are are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. Let's draw near to the Lord our God this morning. Brian's going to come and lead us in singing. um, Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Revelations 4, 8. And hymn book number 41. And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes and all around and within. And the day and night they never cease to say, 
Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. is a song that I've challenged the Hispanic congregation with singing in English, and they have challenged me to sing it in Spanish. So there we go. Tuesday, Albert, you can come help me and sing that in Spanish. Be unto your name, Revelation 15, 3 through 4. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb saying, Great and amazing are your deeds, O Lord, the, o Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the Eternal. King of the nations, excuse me. Who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify, who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship you. For your righteous acts have been revealed. This one goes a little high. We'll see how we do. We are a moment. You are forever. Lord of the ages, God before time, we are a vapor, you are eternal, love everlasting, reigning on high, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, Be unto 
missing Joel or Debbie on that one. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me. Crown him with many crowns. Revelation 4, 9 to 11, in book 243. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who is seated on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they existed and were created. Behold his hands and sigh, 
rich wounds yet visible above in beauty glorify no angel in the sky can fully bear that sigh but downward bends his wandering eye at mystery so bright Is so sweet to trust in Jesus. We're out of Revelations to John 10, 27 through 30. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise and to know thus saith the lord jesus jesus how i trust him how i've proved him o'er and o'er jesus jesus precious jesus oh for grace to trust him more oh how sweet to trust in jesus just to trust his cleansing blood and in simple faith to plunge me Neath the healing, cleansing flood Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him How I've proved Him o'er and o'er Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus Oh, for grace to trust Him more I'm so glad I learned to trust Thee, precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that Thou art with me, with me, me to the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I've proved Him o'er oh, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more, oh, for grace to trust him more.
We're going to sing, Christ is mine forevermore. Romans, and we're going to read Romans 8, 38 through 39. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor heights nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Zion 
city where beside the king I walk for there my heart has found its treasure Christ is mine forevermore Christ is mine forevermore Christ is mine forevermore. And then we're going to end up, finish up here with what a friend we have in Jesus. John 15, 14 through 15. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants. For the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all I have, <clears throat> for all, all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. Benediction um, is again from Ephesians chapter 3, 
verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Lord bless you.